today's learning target is, I can put a comma in the right place in a date. Do you know what this is? It's a calendar. Calendars help us keep track of time. You know how a clock keeps track of minutes and hours? A calendar keeps track of days. And it is important for us to know how to write down the dates in the calendar. Here are a bunch of ways to write down specific dates. There's a really common way for us to write them down as citizens of the United States. But first, let's look at the four parts of a date. Let me throw a date down for you. This is my birthday. The first part is the month, January. The next part is the day, the 30th. And then we get the year, 1972. But we can't forget the comma. The comma separates the day from the year. This is a comma. Notice that it sits right on the line. It doesn't hover up in space. Notice in this example that there's no day, so there is no comma either because the comma separates the numbers of the day from the numbers of the year. Here, there wouldn't be any confusion. I don't think this will take a lot of practice, so let me just give you some dates and you point to where the comma goes. May 24th, 2010. Point to where the comma goes. Right you are, right after the number 24. July 4th, 2020. Point to where the comma goes. Again, you are correct if you put the comma after the number 4. May 2025. Where does the comma go? Since there is no day, it's just the year, there is no comma. Here's the last one, July 13th, 2008. Since you put the comma right after the 13th, you are correct. And that's it, other than to say that today's learning target was, I can put a comma in the right place in a date.